It's a nightmare for first responders during an emergency where every second counts. Thieves taking off with an ambulance while Guam Fire Department medics were responding to a sick person call in Mangilao early Sunday morning. In his 12 years of service, GFT spokesperson Fire Lieutenant Nick Garrido says he's never seen anything like it. When they stepped outside of the home, they noticed the ambulance was missing. So was the key in the ambulance? Was that yes, there? the key is in the ambulance. The key is in the ambulance. The lights are on, basically showing presence, showing that there is an emergency at this uh, particular location. He says it's standard procedure to leave the ambulance running with flashing lights to signal that there is a medical emergency, but that didn't stop the thieves who took a ride up north. The stolen ambulance found vandalized and damaged along Chalon Ramirez Street near the Zero Down subdivision in Jigo Sunday evening. One resident who asked to remain anonymous shocked to learn it was ditched so close to his home. Only this morning I heard about it, so... I'm kind of uh, kind of freaking out. How come the ambulance is doing here? Do you have any concerns with it being found so close to your home here? Yeah, because now when we ask for an ambulance, it's not going to come here now. Among the damages includes graffiti on the interior and exterior of the ambulance, a control module ripped out and missing, a flat tire, and $15,000 worth of stolen equipment. The theft comes just months after GFD unveiled a new 911 system which includes real-time tracking and digital mapping for their emergency vehicles. Greedo admitting it has not been implemented yet as the upgrade is done in phases. The main base system, which is our next-gen system, is what's currently in place. So in the coming months is when these, um, like the tracker and the tablets and all these, are, are going to be implemented into the system. The thieves remain on the run. The Guam Police Department continues their investigation, dusting the stolen unit for fingerprints and looking for any leads. Additionally, the ambulance remains offline, leaving the fire department now with only seven ambulances in operation. The ideal number is eight. We do have one currently that uh, we had. We also, in the previous months, we've also had some accidents, some that have been into some accidents, uh, unfortunate situations. Also, some are going through some issues with warranty. Garrido adding while it does impact their capabilities, GFD remains committed to responding to all emergencies without issue. Matsuki Hiriyama, KUAM News.